and welcome to our lesson on compound interest. So compound interest means you get interest on your interest. We can use this to solve this question here, where Paul invested £3,000 and received 5% interest a year, which was added on each year. How much had he in total after three years? To begin, we need to understand that 100% is the original value of £3,000 and we are adding on the 5% interest. This gives us 105% of the original £3,000. The next step is to convert this percentage to a multiplier. 105% means 105 divided by 100, which is 1.05. And this is our multiplier. So at the end of year one, he has 1.05 multiplied by £3,000, which is £3,150. At the end of year two, he has the same percentage increase, so the same multiplier, multiplied by now the value at the end of year one, which is £3,150. So at the end of year two, he has £3,307.50. And at the end of year three, he has the same multiplier multiplied by the amount at the end of year two, which is £3,472.88. But if you can imagine we were asked for 10 years, we would have to go through this process 10 times. And there is a more efficient way of doing this, which is if you notice, we are multiplying by 1.05 three times. So this is 1.05 to the power of three and three is the number of years. So we have 1.05 raised to the power of a number of years multiplied by the original amount. And we get the same value as we did the other method, but in a more efficient way. Okay, let's try and work out how much for five years. For five years, we have the same percentage increase. So the same multiplier, but now it is raised to the power of five, multiplied by the original 3,000 pounds. And this gives us 3,828 pounds, 84 pence. Okay, let's try another question. In this question, David invests 4,200 pounds in a savings account. The account pays 5.2% compound interest per year. Work out the value of the investment after six years and give your answer to the nearest penny. Do you want to try this question yourself? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So we begin by working out the multiplier. The original percentage is 100 and this is worth 4,200 pounds. We are adding on 5.2% compound interest. So we have 105.2%. As a multiplier, we divide this by 100. So we have 1.052. To work out the investment after six years, we have the multiplier raised to a power of a number of years, so to a power of six, multiplied by the original 4,200 pounds. And this is 5,693 pounds three pence. Okay, let's try one more question. Stephen invests some money in a savings account. His money earns 4% compound interest every year. He wants it to be worth at least £8,000 at the end of three years. What is the smallest amount he can invest? This is slightly different to the previous questions, but the same method applies. Do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? So again, we work out the multiplier. It's a 4% compound interest. So that would be 104%, which is 1.04. We have our original amount, which we don't know. So we're going to call this X. The original amount multiplied by the multiplier raised to the power of a number of years, which is three. Because he wants it to be worth at least 8,000 pounds, it is greater than or equal to 8,000. 
To find the value of x, we divide both sides by 1.04 to the power of 3, and these will cancel. So x must be greater than or equal to 8000 divided by 1.124864, which is 7111 pounds 98 pence. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.